Pikachu! It says really silly things. Let's see. Wowza! Outlook good. Yeah, pretty silly. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. Today I'm going to be doing a thrift haul. I know, so soon. I feel like I just did one, but um, I've been forcing Andy, well not really forcing, but asking him to take me thrifting when he is off since I'm still without a car because there were some things that I was specifically looking for and I'm going to share those two things with you first because I did find them. They are really big. So one is this office chair behind me. I had one, it was black, it was from Ikea. We bought it last March, I think. Maybe it was the March before. Maybe we had it like two years or a year and a half. Um, but it broke and I was literally sitting at an angle like this because like the backside, like it, it was it was terrible. And I was sitting in it and just dealing with it because I didn't want to pay like a lot for a new chair, but I wanted something that was quality and not gonna break again like that. Um, so I was just dealing with it, but last week I actually just put it out by the curb for somebody to take or for the trash people to take, and somebody actually took it. But to I did that to force myself to find something new, because then I just ended up sitting in like one of our hard dining chairs for a week. And so that whole week I was trying to find something, ended up finding this chair. I don't love the fabric, but it is very comfortable and very sturdy. Like the base is metal instead of plastic. The arms are metal and plastic instead of like having like faux leather on them and it getting messed up. So I really like that. And it was only $10.99. So... I feel like that was a, a score. I walked in there by myself and they had like 20 to 30 chairs to choose from and this is the one I came home with. And then the other thing we needed is right here next to this red chair, we don't have an end table, we have a filing cabinet and I'm going to be putting together a new desk because my desk is also falling apart. Everything is just falling apart. Um, but I'm going to be getting a tabletop from Ikea and using the file ca filing cabinet as one of like the legs. So I wanted to find an end table to go there. And behind me, if you can see this little green um, end table. It's cute. It's got a little drawer. I'm probably going to paint it at some point. I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I will show you guys a close up of both of those so you can see them better. But that little end table, it had a $40 price tag on it. But everything was 60% off. So it ended up being like 12 something. So... That was a score. And then at that same thrift store where I found that thing, they had that 60% off, as I said, so that everything was 60% off, and then all the clothes were actually 99 cents. So I'll show you the other two things that I got for 60% off, and then I'll show you all the clothes that we got for 99 cents. So Andy's water fountain at work is still broken. He requested them to fix it, but it hasn't been fixed. So I've been buying him bottled water, um, and he just... Like, that's a lot of plastic, so he asked if um, one of these I thought would be big enough for him to take, and this is half a gallon of water, so he's going to take this to work along with his water bottle filled with water, and that should be enough to get him through the day. Um, yeah, so this was half off of $8.99, and it's just a nice igloo water container. It's got, you could pour it out, big screw off lid. And it's insulated so it'll keep anything cold in there so got that for him and then I didn't really need this but I bought it because it was half off or 60% off not half off 60% off of $2.99 you do the math I'm not great at math in my head but it's a Pyrex um, pie dish and if you ever see like Pyrex in all caps that's like older vintage Pyrex it's made out of different type of glass that I watched a video of online, some scientists who's saying like this is more shatter resistant than the glass that they use now. So if it has all caps, it is vintage or it's from like Europe and Europe still uses that like better glass. So I got this just because it's better glass than like what they use today. And you'll notice that anything on newer Pyrex is all lowercase letters that's made in America. Um, this is made in the USA, but it's just vintage made in the USA. So, I, I, uh, got this. So, now I can make two pies at once. <laughs> okay, now all the clothes. As I said, we're 99 cents. So, we found this Pokemon shirt. It's a little big, but the kids can sleep in it. 
And then a Pikachu shirt as well. Same thing. It's a little bit big. It might fit Lily. I think it's a 7. But if not, they can just wear it as a big t-shirt to sleep in. And then these jeans for Elijah. Some little Gap jeans. They're a little bit worn in the knee, but I figure for 99 cents, you can just wear them as play jeans. And then he picked up this. This is my lucky shirt, green. He can wear this for St. Patrick's Day. And then Andy found himself a pair of jeans. These are Lucky Brand jeans, and they were only 99 cents. So just a nice dark wash pair of Lucky Brand jeans. And then some things for Lily. Got this Gymboree little dress with flowers on it. It's probably more like a tunic, not really a dress. But yeah, 99 cents cute. I could have gone crazy and bought a lot more things, but I didn't want to spend forever in the store and also like I have to have a place to put all this and like right now they don't need any like winter clothes but I am trying to start buying some things for spring so like t-shirts and stuff are good for that and then this is a crazy eight dress that I got for Lily and I just loved the like blue and the green it's very pretty perfect for spring and then one more thing for Elijah these Oshkosh genuine kids by Oshkosh so Target um, overalls for him and then there was two more things for Andy he got some clothes at the thrift store where we got the chair so they weren't on sale or anything but he found a pair of jeans they were Calvin Klein jeans and they were kind of pricey for the thrift store but that thrift store is known to price things like based on the brand and he really needed jeans because he was down to like one pair of jeans um, and they were really nice, like looked like they were brand new. And they're Calvin Klein, so they were $19.99. But yeah, he loves them. They have a little bit of stretch to them. So that's all that matters. And like for 20 bucks, what are you going to get? Like some Walmart jeans. And then he also got this. And this was on sale. He actually saw this the other week when we were at that thrift store. But it was, it was $16.99. And he was like, man, I really like that, but I don't want to pay $16.99 for it. It's Bugle Boy. It's kind of like corduroy, and it has a zipper, and he just really, really liked it. I told him it reminded me of something my dad would have bought, but that's okay. It's still very nice. It looked nice on him. Um, but he didn't want to pay $16.99 for it, so he put it back. And he was like, when we come back, let's check and see if it's there when it's the color of the week. So it was the color of the week, so we ended up getting it for half off. So it is at $8.50. Maybe it's $15.99. It's $15.99, so it was like $7.50 for this. Okay, and the last few things are from Goodwill. I found this little block from Mario. It's actually like a Magic 8 Ball, but we have a lot of like nerdy stuff, like Nintendo knickknacks and stuff, so I thought that this would be cute sitting up there, especially considering it was only $0.79. Cents. Okay, and the last few things are books. We picked up this I Can Read Reading Step 2, Merry Christmas, Amelia Bedelia. Then The Little Red Caboose. The first Thanksgiving. I Can Read Charlie the Ranch Dog, and that's um, the Pioneer Woman Reed Drummond's dog and her book. So Lily really wanted that because I love Pioneer Woman. And then we got Just Grandpa and Me, and Lily picked out Pink Alicious and the Pink Drink. And each of those was 77 cents, even though I would consider this like a hardback book. They counted it as paperback, and I got it for 77 cents. That is going to wrap up this thrift haul. If you like it, please make sure you leave me a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.